This is the only attack in history where the further he goes and the bigger it gets and the worse it gets and the more death that's caused, the more money he makes because oil prices keep climbing higher and higher and higher. There's never been anything like that where a warring nation, the more he makes it difficult to get oil, the more expensive it gets and the more money he makes. And all those tanks roaming around are very expensive, but they're peanuts compared to the kind of money that he's making because of the tremendous increase in oil. You know, when I left and during my term, oil was at $36 a barrel. Think of it, 36. Now it hit 100, and they think it's going to 150. So the Middle East and Saudi Arabia, a lot of countries, but Russia right now in particular is making more money than they ever dreamt possible. The cost of the war is very, very small compared to the kind of money they're taking in. There's never been a situation like that. It's, uh, it's horrible to watch. It's horrible because it's a disincentive for him to disengage. Remember, Joe and Hunter Biden got $3.5 million from the mayor of Moscow's wife and were never allowed to explain in the debate. Remember we had the debate and I said, hey, what do you do with the 3.5 million that you got from the mayor of Moscow's wife and Chris Wallace, who I assume was now fired from Fox, which is good. He said, that's not an appropriate question. That turned out to be another one. Trump was right. That turned out to be another very appropriate question. He got three and a half million dollars from the mayor of Moscow's wife. Very rich family, I will tell you that. This is a conflict of interest, but at the same time, Joe Biden bragged unknowingly on tape, and this was on tape, can you imagine if I said it, about getting rid of a Ukrainian prosecutor, or he wouldn't allow $1 billion of American taxpayers' money to be given to Ukraine. They kept saying, where's the money, where's the money, where's the money? No, you got to get rid of that prosecutor, he's getting too close. Can you imagine if I did that? And he was on tape. And the fake news media, those people right there, refused to report it. <laughs>